So I'd like to introduce you to Dr. Yang. He really does exist. <laughs> so I was just reading Dr. Yang's story. So um, you need to communicate with Dr. Yang, and, and you can find him on social media. So his English is a little bit broken. It's very easy to communicate written. And he calls himself a rogue researcher. He's a family doctor just like me. And um, we had met, I guess, six months ago um, after I had gone to Low Carb San Diego. And Korean television came out and interviewed us about Low Carb. <laughs> so Low Carb is gaining momentum in South Korea, thanks to one person, Dr. Yang. So what he basically did in 2013, 2014, he had uh, been doing a lot of his own research. He had done, uh, changed his diet. He lost uh, 10 kilos, I think he said. But more importantly, he translated Dr. Lustig and Nina Teicholt's books into um, Korean. And then they did several documentaries about low-carb, high-fat diets met with a lot of resistance in the country. And essentially, this brings us to today. So he is be, to be commended. And we need to see more uh, of this in, in Asia. So thanks, Dr. Yang. Anything you want to say? I'm happy to see you local people. I'm, I'm not very good at English, but don't get me wrong when my response is weird. English is not my mother language, but uh, I can communicate with you very slowly because I communicate with Japanese doctors, though I can barely speak Japanese. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> there is cultural difference between you and me. There is a very cute bear on my sock. <laughs> In Korea, that's not so surprising. <laughs> so, but we have similar health problems. One in four person in Thailand has diabetes. One in six people in Japan has diabetes. Fortunately, one in eight people in Korea has diabetes. Mm. Wow. So thanks to you, local people in the world, I could make a movement in Korea. Thank you very much. And his, thanks Dr. Yang. His, his latest project he just shared with um, myself, I shared with Ivor. Again, he's a rogue researcher and he did a made an analysis trying to compare uh, CRP to insulin versus cholesterol. Okay, and, and guess what? The um, correlation was tight between insulin and HSCRP and the correlation between CRP and cholesterol was for not. So we're trying to get, you're trying to get that published and we're trying to help him with that. So thanks again, Dr. Yang. You're awesome. <laughs>